The purpose of these video clips is to clarify the simplicity of FreeCAD. Today's video clip is about a finger digit prosthetic. We'll start with an elliptical hollow cylinder body. To start this project, we create a file to store the contents. File, New, File, Save As, Finger Digit Prosthetic. To create an elliptical hollow cylinder, Part Design, Create Body, Select Body, F2 to rename body to body bottom, create sketch, XY plane, OK. First we'll create the cylinder outside dimensions. Ellipse by center, click, double click to complete, right click to release. Select the XY axis center. Select center of ellipse. Constrain coincident. It is now centered. Select ellipse point. Select the Y axis. Constraint point onto object. Now it is symmetrical. Select Y max points. Constraint vertical distance. Cylinder outside Y diameter is 0.9 inches. Select X max points. Constraint horizontal distance. Cylinder outside X diameter is 0.8 inches. Next we'll create the cylinder inside dimensions. Ellipse by center. Click. Double click to complete. Right click to release. Select the XY center. Select center of ellipse. Constraint coincident, centered. Select ellipse point. Select Y axis. Constraint point onto object. Now it is symmetrical. Select Y max points. Constraint vertical distance. Cylinder inside Y diameter is 0.85 inches. Select X max points. Constraint horizontal distance. Cylinder inside X diameter is 0.75 inches. Close. Isometric to get a 3D view. Select Pad. Set Length to 1 inch. OK. We now have an elliptical hollow cylinder. We'll continue by creating an elliptical hollow sloped cylinder body. To create an elliptical hollow sloped cylinder, select Body Bottom. Spacebar hides Body Bottom. Create body, select body, use F2 to rename body top. Create sketch, XY plane, OK. Ellipse by center, click, double click to complete, right click to release. Select XY center, select center of ellipse. Constrained coincident, it is now centered. Select ellipse point, select Y axis. Constrained point onto object. Now it is symmetrical. Select Y max points. Constrain vertical distance. Outside Y diameter is 0.9 inches. Select X max points. Constrain horizontal distance. Cylinder outside X diameter is 0.8 inches. Close. Use F2 to rename to sketch outside ring bottom. Spacebar to hide sketch outside ring bottom. Next create top ellipse ring. Double click body top. Create sketch, XY plane, OK. Ellipse by center, click, double click to complete, right click to release. Select XY center, select center of ellipse. Constrain coincident, now it's centered. Select ellipse point, select Y axis, constrain point onto object, now it's symmetrical. Select Y points, constrain vertical distance. Cylinder outside Y diameter is 0.7 inches. Select X max points. Constrain horizontal distance. Cylinder outside X diameter is 0.6 inches. Close. F2 to rename. Sketch outside ring top. Select sketch outside ring bottom. Spacebar displays sketch outside ring bottom. Select sketch outside ring top. Position. Z equals 0.75 inches. Sketch outside ring top moves up 0.75 inches. Click both images while holding the control button. Additive loft. We now have a sloped cylinder. Double click sketch outside ring bottom. Ellipse by center. Click. Double click to complete. Right click to release. Select XY center. Select center of ellipse. Constrain coincident. Now it is centered. Select ellipse point. Select Y axis. Constraint point onto object. Now it is symmetrical. Select Y max points. 
constrained vertical distance. Cylinder inside Y diameter is 0.85 inches. Select X max points. Constrain horizontal distance. Cylinder inside X diameter is 0.75 inches. Close. Double click sketch outside ring top. Ellipse by center. Click. Double click to complete. Right click to release. Select XY center. Select center of ellipse. Constrain coincident. Now it is centered. Select ellipse point. Select Y axis. Constrain point onto object. Now it is symmetrical. Select Y max points. Constrain vertical distance. Cylinder inside Y diameter is 0.65 inches. Select X max points. Constrain horizontal distance. Cylinder inside X diameter is 0.55 inches. Close. We now have an elliptical hollow sloped cylinder. Add an ellipsoid half shell to the top of the sloped cylinder body. Double click body top. Additive ellipsoid. XY plane. Radius 1, which is the Z axis, 0.35 inches. Radius 2, which is the X axis, 0.3 inches. And radius 3, the Y, 0.35 inches. See the ellipsoid projecting out of the bottom. V param equals 0 degrees. This makes a half ellipsoid. In Z direction, 0.75 inches. This moves the half ellipsoid to the top. OK. F2 to rename ellipsoid outside shell. Subtractive ellipsoid. XY plane. Radius 1, 0.325. Radius 2, 0.275. Radius 3, 0.325. V param equals 0 degrees. This makes a half ellipsoid. Move in the Z direction, 0.75 inches. This moves the half ellipsoid to the top. OK. Rename to ellipsoid inside shell. Hover over body top to see ellipsoid shell. Ellipsoid shell half has been added to the top of the sloped cylinder body. Next, connect the sloped cylinder body to the top of the cylinder body. To connect the body top to the body bottom, hit the spacebar to display body bottom, double click body top, right click body top, transform, front view, position, Z is 1.1, X is 0 0.005, axes, X is 0, Y is 1, Z is 0. Angle is 10 degrees. OK. Create body. Rename body to body middle. Zoom in. Select body top ring. Create a sub-object shape binder. Select body bottom ring. Create a sub-object shape binder. Fit all. Hide body bottom end body top. Zoom in. Select body top face. Holding the control button, body bottom face. Additive loft. Fit all. Show body bottom and body top. Fit all. Front view. The body top has been connected to body bottom. Remove portion of the cylinder body. Isometric. Spacebar to hide body top. Hide body middle. Double click body bottom. Create sketch. XY plane. OK. Create rectangle. Click, double click to complete, right click to release. Select rectangle corner. Select Y axis. Constrain point onto object. Close. Select sketch. Pocket. Length equals 2 inches. Reversed. OK. Select sketch. Spacebar to display sketch. Axes. X equals 0, Y equals 1, Z equals 0. Angle. 45 degrees. Position x equals minus 0 0.4. Spacebar to hide sketch. Spacebar to show body top. Spacebar to show body middle. A part of the cylinder body has been removed. This concludes figure digit prosthetic.